Let's crack these boxes open. Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be going over all of my recent purchases throughout the duration of October. As you probably read in the title description or the thumbnail, today's unboxing is going to include brands like Rude, Fear of God, Essentials, New Balance, and more. Apart from opening these boxes up and reviewing them, I will be throwing them on body and styling them with a myriad of different outfits. But just before we jump into the contents of these boxes, I did want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. For a limited time, they're offering our entire community 10% off your order. So be sure to hit the link in the description and use my code Paul10YT to go ahead and save. If you don't know, Farfetch is your premier one-stop shop for all things fashion, streetwear, designer, and now the most exclusive and desirable sneakers on the planet. Most of what I show you today is available right now on Farfetch's website, and that is partly due to the fact that Farfetch has just acquired world-renowned sneaker shop Stadium Goods. Now, what that means for us is a few things. First, you have the convenience of shopping one of the world's largest selections of today's most sought after sneakers, including Yeezys, Jordans, Off-White, and so much more. And that's because the entire inventory of stadium goods can now be found on Farfetch. Second, you can rest assured and have that peace of mind that the product you purchase is 100% legit. And that's because all products have been visually, technically, and physically authenticated by hand from the experts over at Stadium Goods. With that said, you have essentially a meeting of two great minds because you have the expertise of Stadium Goods with the sneakers, and now that Farfetch has acquired them, you have access to world-renowned customer service, as well as the top tier hassle-free return policy that comes along with shopping on Farfetch. I mean, we've all done it. Ordered a pair of shoes that ran a bit smaller than you originally thought, don't sweat it. Farfetch has got you covered because when I say hassle free, I mean it by every stretch of the word. And that's because Farfetch will go as far as to picking up the package from your residence if you do decide to return them. Hassle free, worry free, the way buying sneakers of this caliber should be. And this is what really separates Farfetch and puts them in a league of their own. Having the ability to return sneakers if you're dissatisfied, surprisingly enough, is a rare thing. Being able to do so with this level of customer service, well, Farfetch has definitely got something special here. And because Farfetch is sponsoring today's video, they're offering our community a 10% discount. So be sure to hit the link in the description and use my code Paul10YT to save 10% on your first order. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's unboxing. All right, and so jumping right into the first package here, so this is, I believe, the nylon cap from Fear of God Essentials. Wow, the quality of the hat's actually really nice. It's kind of like a sheen finish. 100% polyester, and it says one size fits most, so hopefully it does fit. And retail on this one wasn't too bad at all, so yeah, really stoked on this. Very fire hat. Also, as I've already mentioned, a lot of this stuff can be found on Farfetch website. And if I do find it, I will go ahead and link it in the description. Next up, let's keep it moving here. Oh, I will say Farfetch's shipping is insanely fast. I think I got these in like two or three days. Uh, here they are. We have the Stussy Nike Air Force One. As you can see here, it is comprised of, I wanna say it's like canvas. And wow, this is such a clean sneaker. You guys know I'm a sucker for, for cream sneakers and this is gonna work itself seamlessly into my wardrobe. Uh, very nice details with the hardware on the back as well as the hit on the toe box. Yeah, these are mad clean. Yeah, these, these are so good. I can't wait to throw these on feet. Next up, we have here what I believe is another pair of shoes. So we have here a sneaker that I've been eyeing for quite a bit of time. And originally my desire to acquire this shoe came oddly enough while I was in Texas. I saw these shoes on feet. I was like, dude, I need those. The color that I saw was the white pair. 
and um, spoiler, I did end up getting the white pair as well. But if you guys follow me, you guys know that one of the shoes that I was heavily rotating while in Texas was the 2002 R in the bone colorway. So I knew I would love this shoe, so I did get it in black as well. All right. Next up is another pair of New Balances, and I think I know what these are just based on the color of the box. We just saw it. We have another shoe from the protection pack this time in that sea salt colorway that I saw while I was in Texas. And this is actually the shoe that really, really put me on uh, to wanting to purchase these. I actually have the rain clouds on the way. Kind of went crazy. That's just kind of how I am. I get like obsessive over a certain thing and kind of overdo it. But anyways, that's tangential. Here they are in prison, the sea salt. Wow, the colorway is so, so clean. Similarly to the black pair I just showed, the details once again are just out of this world good. They really did their thing with this uh, with this pack, just the attention to detail. Um, this pair doesn't seem to be made of the same material for the footbed, or sorry, the toe box. It's not actually made of mesh, which is quite interesting. And I'm wondering why they didn't do that, because mesh is a bit easier to keep clean. And uh, this white pair won't have that same level of breathability. It's probably aesthetic, if I could get it. All right, keeping it rolling. We got a heavy one up next. Heavy to me, but I know you guys out there, it's, it's nothing. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So this is going to be a good one. I was, uh, I was really, really excited about these purchases. We will go ahead and start with the first thing up top. What we have here, what looks to be a Fear of God Essentials bag. But as you turn it, reveals something a little different. So I know it's not really that big of a deal, but for me, it kind of is. I don't know why, but this Union Fear of God collab was something that I just didn't want to miss out on. Next up, we have here a pair of shorts from Fear of God 7th Collection. I did go ahead and go with a size small on the shorts. I'm approximately 5'7", weigh 160 pounds, and my waist size is between a 29 and a 30. Next up, we have a shirt that either may fit really well or might fit terribly. At this point, you should be seeing B-roll of it on and you guys can make your judgments. But here uh, we have this kind of like baseball-ish shirt, but a short sleeve version. Up front, you have the embroidery of the Rude logo in cursive, and then that same embroidery on the back here. And last up in this box is another seventh collection item. We have here the vintage faded olive hoodie. Uh, I don't know that that's the exact name, but we're gonna run with it. This one does have a vintage faded effect. It's like a sun faded effect. And it goes from like lighter up top to darker towards the bottom. French terry material, super soft. For this piece, I did go ahead and go with the medium. What I found from 7th Collection is that it does fit pretty true to size for intended fit. Go ahead and show you this hoodie styled a few different ways. First with a pair of sweatpants, which is a bit more relaxed comfortable kind of chilling at home type of vibe i'll go ahead and throw them on dressed up with a pair of boots to kind of give you a different type of vibe and then a more relaxed style of look where the pants are a little bit uh, less tapered and so yeah this is a type of hoodie that you can wear for any occasion very fire moving right into our next package here yes very excited so what looks to be yet again another essentials package we reveal a little something different inside. I don't know, you guys let me know. Kind of looks like like a, what are those things called? A, a kaleidoscope or a horoscope? What, the thing with the, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, first impression, definitely very loud, but overall they did a great job with the dyeing process, I would have to say. For this hoodie, I did go ahead and size with a size small, just like I do with all of my Essentials hoodies. As you can see, it fits pretty oversized and somewhat cropped. Also in that same box comes this Essentials bag, and inside the bag 
is a black version of the same hoodie. And I think I like this one a bit more just because this is gonna be a lot more versatile. Once again, I did go ahead and go for a size small. What do you guys think? Out of these two hoodies, which one do you personally prefer? I know that the tie-dye one does resell for a little bit more, but for me, I definitely go with tried and true black hoodie, easy to wear very versatile and now moving on to our last package of the day we have here a grail level sneaker uh, once i go ahead and open it up you guys will see exactly what i mean just a little bit of a hint they're not off white they're not travis scott they're not even nike so this my friends is a 1500 dollar sneaker and we have here a jound new balance sneaker the jound new balance 992 an extremely hyped yet somewhat polarizing and memed sneaker despite the polarization behind this sneaker i think we can all agree uh, that in terms of quality and comfort uh it just won't it won't get any better than this shoe right here the suede the small yet distinct touches uh, from Jound to this collaboration. Uh, really just did a bang up job and making this shoe really, really versatile. Yeah, this was my big, big purchase of today's video. You guys let me know down below what you guys liked the most. For the sake of transparency, I'm not gonna undes these until I get uh, the rain cloud from the protection pack in because I feel like they're gonna kind of accomplish the same goal. So in that light, I might go ahead and keep these on ice for a little bit more time and uh, use the rain clouds for the time being. But with that, uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'd like to give a special thank you and shout out to Farfetch for making this video happen. Once again, be sure to hit the link in the description to go ahead and shop the site. As you guys just saw, there is a ton of good stuff on the website ready for you guys to go ahead and purchase and ultimately save 10% on by using my code Paul10YT. As always, thank you so, so much for the continued support. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming and it helps get this video out a little further and wider. If you're not already, please be sure to subscribe. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and be blessed.